Filthy Apples, Mr. Dirty, back with another episode of the GTF Show. Today we got a breakfast item on the show, straight from the frozen food department. Something new from Jimmy Dean. Uh, a while back we saw stuffed hash browns. This is right after Taco Bell started doing all the crunch wraps and all that kind of stuff with the hash browns in their burritos uh, and tacos. Uh, we saw 7-Eleven came out with a stuffed hash brown that had the eggs and the cheese and everything on the inside of the hash brown instead of the hash brown on the inside of everything else. Jimmy Dean has decided to do the exact same thing with their stuffed hash browns and this is the package you're looking for. If you're looking for this in stores, this is going to be the sausage and cheese version. I believe there's a bacon version also. Alright, the big thing about the uh, the 7-Eleven one was that uh, it was basically right there in the hot box. You didn't see them make it. Uh, when you got there it was already made. It was already warm sitting there and it was soggy really. It didn't have any kind of a crispy texture. There was no crunch to it. It was just like a very moist, soggy hash brown. Uh, the eggs were bland, the cheese was bland. It all just kind of melded with the hash brown itself, and it was just uh, it was just a bunch of yuck, really. So these guys here, I was looking all over this box for oven instructions. There are none. Microwave, which started to get me worried. But on the front here, it says crispy from the microwave, and there's depicted a crisping sleeve. And on the back, it actually talks more about the crisping sleeve. So pretty much it's done exactly like a Hot Pocket, where you pull it out of the, what, a plastic wrapper, stick it into a crisping sleeve, throw it on a microwave plate, and throw it in there. And it's saying uh, stick it in there for two minutes, and then let it stand for another two. And supposedly it comes out crispy. I don't know. Alright, so they're describing this to have potatoes with sausage, cheddar, and mozzarella cheese. Alright, there's uh, supposedly four of these in here. Let's take a look real quick before we go stick it in the microwave. Let's see what we actually got. We'll bust one out. Alright, right, first thing I see is that this is pre-toasted already, pre-cooked. You can see the browning already on the hash browns. These aren't raw potatoes, anything like that. Everything's pre-cooked. Uh, you can't see the eggs or the sausage or anything like that, but you can tell just from looking at it like that. It's like twice or three times the size of a hash brown that you would get from, say, McDonald's or one of the uh, patty cakes from Arby's. It's very thick. It's got all that stuff inside of it. All right, so check out this crisping sleeve here. It's only half of a crisping sleeve. Half of what you would find with a hot pocket. I understand the uh, reasoning behind that, but there we have it. All right, so that goes right in there like so. Then we go throw this unit right here into the microwave for two minutes. We're going to do that, come back, see what we got. Stick around. All right, you rat bastards. We're back. We've got our Jimmy Dean's cheese and sausage stuffed hash brown out of the microwave. Remember that was the only way they gave us to cook this. There were no oven instructions. They said to stick it in this sleeve and it come out crispy. And when I did pull it out, it has been sitting here for two minutes. When I did pull it out, I gave it a good touch and it wasn't very crispy at all. I gotta tell you right now, still not very crispy. Uh, half of this thing is sticking out of the crisping sleeve. which makes no sense whatsoever. You know, we pull it out further if we are able to. Nope. Oh, yep, yep, there we go. Yeah, not even the uh, the back end that was actually inside the crisping sleeve getting cooked all the way is not crispy. It's more firm than the 7-Eleven one that we had, but I gotta tell you, it's not a far cry from it. It's still pretty mushy. There's no crispiness going on whatsoever here. This was uh, this crisping sleeve and the design of it fail. Now while this was cooking, um, after about the first minute in the microwave, it smelled like you were frying hash browns or some kind of a, a potato cake in a skillet. And then for the second minute that it was cooking in the microwave, you could definitely smell all the, uh, the cheese and the sausage. It wasn't a pleasant smell, but it did smell like something other than just potatoes. Let's snap into this and see what we got. I can taste everything. But it's kind of weird. Like the sausage doesn't exactly taste like sausage. Um, it's kind of minty. And the, uh, the cheese, the cheddar and the mozzarella, once that starts to mix in with everything, it almost comes across like slightly au gratin flavor. And we can show you the cross section right there. You can see it's much more filled. If you go back and look at that 7-Eleven video that we did, you have to dig through the playlist or just search it. It wasn't filled like that. It was more of like um, a mix. Like say, they took the uh, the hash browns and the sausage and the eggs and everything and they kind of mixed it up in a bowl, then made it into a patty, and then fried it. This one's actually 
got like a hash brown shell that has actually been stuffed with the stuff, exactly like they claim to be on the package. Uh, the flavor is not exactly what I thought it was going to be. Let me hit it one more time just to uh, make sure I got it all going on before I go slapping a rating on this. Here we go. I got a little bit more of the uh, sausage flavor on that bite there. And it's typical Jimmy Dean sausage, but you don't taste it through the whole thing. It comes like in waves. Depending on where you bite this, it's going to be hit and miss on the amount of flavor that you get of the sausage. The dominating flavor here is the cheese and the potatoes. The sausage flavor is there, but it does take a back seat. But every once in a while, you can hear it screaming from back there. Alright, so, what we got going on here is uh, supposed to be crispy hash brown that never really got crispy. The crisping sleeve pretty much only got it to the point to where it was firm enough to take out of the sleeve and handle. The flavor, it's all over the place on this one. It's not exactly the flavor that you would expect when you see cheese and sausage. It's definitely something different, something unique, but it's still a step up from the 7-Eleven version that we saw like over a year ago. Would I buy this again? No. But it's not bad for what it is. Jimmy Dean did a good job, and at least they beat what the only competition they had in the world. You know, they won up them. So I'm going to let this stand with a high 3 out of 5. All right, guys, so there you have it, the Jimmy Dean stuffed hash brown and sausage and cheese variety. Would be surprised if we saw somebody else do the bacon version. I'm Mr. Dury. This is GTM. Don't forget you can buy knucklehead shirts and hoodies down in the description. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the real Mr. Dirty. And as always, get out of here. Go have a rotten day.